Greetings and salutations to you all, and I hope you are all having a very Merry Christmas. This past week was actually the one year anniversary of the channel, and I just wanted to take a second to thank all of you for all the support you've been throwing my way this past year. Over 250 subscribers for the first year, I feel like that's pretty good, and I hope that we only grow larger in the coming years after this. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys. Just wanted to take a couple seconds because I couldn't really get out an anniversary video, but anyway, onto the video. Raise your hand if you got a Nintendo Switch this Christmas. Now put your hands down. This is a video, you dingus. I'm sorry, it's Christmas. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be insulting anyone. I apologize. But yeah, I figured a ton of you guys were gonna get Nintendo Switches for Christmas if you haven't already, so I figured a great idea for a Christmas special video would to just be a Nintendo Switch buyer's guide to 2017. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the little things uh, you might need or want with your new Nintendo Switch, as well as some games I think you would enjoy. So, with that in mind, Let's begin. First of all, I'm sure you've heard all the rumors and things about the Nintendo Switch dock scratching the screen of the Switch. Uh, unfortunately, this is true, but fortunately there is a cure, uh, getting a screen protector for the Switch. I would highly recommend you get one. If you're anything like me, you don't like getting any kind of screen protectors on your phones or other devices because it, it just, it, it takes some of the color away. It's like this little thin layer of stuff right there. It just it kind of ruins the experience. Like it's it's like taking a brand new shiny phone or something and then covering it in a case. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but that just bothers me. Uh, I've tried actually multiple screen protectors for my Switch and a lot of them, a lot of the really cheap plasticky ones, I didn't really like because of the things I just said. It, it made the colors muted, it just, it wasn't a good time. But I do highly recommend that you get uh, some tempered glass screen protectors. Uh, this one right here I got from Amazon for about $8, $9, not that bad. Comes with two screen protectors, all the stuff you need to apply it. And it keeps all the colors of the Nintendo Switch screen super vibrant, super awesome. And yeah, I highly recommend. I think you definitely need a screen protector, especially a tempered glass screen protector on your new Switch. Another thing you might want is uh, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Uh, this, if you guys have seen this, it's kind of like a little controller that helps the um, helps you play like a normal console. You know, like a PS4 controller, Xbox One controller, any of that stuff. It's actually a really nice controller if you guys want to take a look here. It's got the, the analog sticks, triggers, the whole nine yards. It's awesome. Uh, before we want to get the... Oh, thanks puppy. Thank you. Get with it. That butt. I would suggest you spend some time with your included Nintendo Switch uh, Joy-Con grip. Uh, firstly, looks like a puppy. I don't know if you've seen that at all, but same thing. <laughs> same thing. It's the same. One and the same. Puppy. Basically, it just holds the Joy-Cons together. And I know a lot of people automatically, before they even tried it, just were like, nah, I'm gonna go get the Pro Controller. But I suggest you give some time with this, because it doesn't feel that bad at all. In fact, it feels pretty good. It's a pretty solid controller. And the Pro Controller is around $70, I think. And I would make sure that you just really don't like this or can't stand this before you even think about investing in the Pro Controller. Uh, if you have the money, it's totally worth it, but... If you are crunched for some cash, I would definitely just get another game than a Pro Controller. Another thing you might wanna get is, yes, each Joy-Con does act as its own controller in the uh, Nintendo Switch, but it's it's not like the best feeling, it's, it's, not, it's not the best thing in the world. So I would recommend, if you're not gonna get another Pro Controller, at least to get some uh, second pair of Joy-Cons. I, I have two myself. Uh, for games like ARMS, uh, Mario Kart, it's really fun. I mean, like I said, you totally can play all those games with just the two controllers that come in with the Nintendo Switch. It's just a lot more fun to have multiple Joy-Cons. And if you do get multiple Joy-Cons, uh, this is a really nifty thing. This is the Joy-Con charging station. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but it's pretty cool. Um, I think this also retails for around $50. Uh, something like that. So it is a little pricey. Um, you might just want to get another game instead But if you're in a family that you know has Mario Kart arms a lot of stuff where you guys are gonna be playing together uh, This is a really cool cool looking way to charge your Joy-Cons 
just kind of like slide them in there and it just it's it's like visually appealing it works really well it just plugs right into the switch so uh, i do recommend that product all those though are just kind of things that you don't really need but you might want if you have some extra cash except for the screen protector i do think that is a necessity the only other necessity i do think you need with the nintendo switch is in fact a carrying case now this one uh, is from a line of the new Nintendo Switch uh, cases, uh, officially made by Nintendo, and it, it works really well. It's only about $20. It's hard shell. Switch fits in there perfectly. Uh, it's got a little pouch. Uh, you can actually fit four Joy-Cons in here. Uh, it's really cool. You can just, you just kind of like put them in there like that. I don't know if you can see. Another cool feature uh, that these cases have is that they come with these, uh, these little game holders. They, I can hold up to eight games. It even comes with little holders for the SD cards. Uh, here, I don't know if you guys wanna see. It, it's pretty cool. They work, they work really well. For $20, I think this is a great case. If you're gonna get a external case, I definitely recommend this. They also have um, some other ones that look like they have Mario on them, um, some Zelda. I think I saw a couple Splatoon ones. All right, so that does it with all the hardware that I think is uh, cool. There's a, definitely uh, a lot of other things out there that you can purchase for your Switch. Okay, now on to games. I have actually uh, put these into categories because obviously you can't buy every Switch game that's come out. We no, You guys don't have that money. But I think it goes without saying that Mario and Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild are just, you, you have to get them. They are phenomenal games. Uh, if you like Mario at all, if you like platforming in general, please, please, please give Super Mario Odyssey a try. And if you like video games in general, just give, but we've been over this. So like I said, I put these in uh, some categories. Um, you know, like platformers, multiplayers, uh, shooters, that kind of stuff. Uh, there is a little bit of everything for every type of gamer out there. First off, platformers. Of course, Super Mario Odyssey, I would recommend. Another game actually is a Sonic Mania. It's only $20. Uh, this isn't a physical release. It is $20 on the eShop, but it is definitely worth it. I would, I would say it's even worth $40 if it was that price, but it, it's not, it's $20 half the price of what it should be. It's a fantastic game. It's a blast to play. There's even some multiplayer modes in there. If you like Sonic, if you like 2D platformers, like I would definitely give Sonic Mania a try. Another one is uh, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is a pretty old game at this point, but that makes it no less phenomenal. This was one of the launch titles with the Switch, and it's just its just a great time. If you liked the old Mega Man X games, any of the Mega Mans, uh, this borrows a lot of things from those games. It's, it's a great time. I highly recommend Shovel Knight. Another one that I've not really heard anyone talk about, it came out uh, a while ago for the Switch, is Wonder Boy The Dragon's Curse, or Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, I think, actually. It's... A fantastic remake of an original uh, NES game, and it, it's just it's it's great. It's beautiful graphics. The music is beautifully redone, uh, and you can switch between the old and the new graphics at any time. It's it's a great game. If you like old platformers, it's great. It is kind of hard. Uh, the, you have to figure out what to do on your own, but um, if if you have the gumption to do it. I, I, I highly recommend that game. Uh, another game is Yuka Laylee. That actually just hit the Switch uh, this past week. It does retail uh, at $40 on the Switch eShop. Uh, there is no physical release as of yet, but it's a great time. I know a lot of people were throwing some flack on it when it came out to other uh, consoles earlier this year, but honestly, it's, it's a great game. It's a great platformer. It throws back to the old Banjo-Kazooie era. In fact, it's kind of a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie um, in that respect. But it's it's just, it's a great. If you finished Mario Odyssey, uh, maybe Sonic Mania, and you want something else to play, another 3D platformer, I would I would highly recommend uh, Yuka and Laylee. Um, and then another, the last game for platformers that I found um, might surprise some of you guys. It's actually Sonic Forces. Uh, Sonic Forces, I know it's been getting a lot of flack from the internet uh, for being just not a really good game in general, but honestly, it's pretty fun. Like, is it a great game? <laughs> no, it's it's not. It's got a lot of flaws, but it's still a fun time. I still had fun with it. 
if you don't really care about what everyone else says about a game, if you just care about having fun with games, I would highly recommend Sonic Forces. Especially since because it wasn't received as well, you can get it for pretty cheap already, even though it only came out about a month or two ago. Actually, right now in the eShop, it is on sale for, I think, about $37, uh, maybe $27. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Um, some multiplayer games, because the Switch is and always will be, hopefully, a multiplayer console. It brought back the uh, the couch co-op in video games, and that's something that I thought was missing in the last console generation, so I'm so glad Nintendo's brought it back. Some of the best games for this, of course, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This game is so fun. I've had hours and hours and hours of fun, just single player, and almost any time I have friends come over for family reasons, uh, just hanging out, I always break out this bad boy. It is so fun. It's got the most maps out of any Mario Kart. It's got the most, uh, it's got a ton of battle mode stuff. It's just, it's just a great game all around, but especially for um, the Switch. I definitely think no matter what, you need to get, Mario Kart 8 should be one of the first games you get on your Switch. Another game is ARMS. I love this game. This game is a blast. And it is a blast to play with your friends or family or anyone. This game though, uh, you can play button layouts. I personally like to play with the Joy-Con uh, and I would recommend you get two sets of Joy-Con uh, an, an additional set to the one that comes with the Switch if you're going to have a lot of friends over to play this game. It is really fun. Um, it is probably the second uh, game I play the most uh, with my friends. It's it's just a really great time. I highly recommend you get ARMS. And then the other two games are Brawl Out and Snipper Clips. Snipper Clips is this great game where you guys are both playing these uh, like little paper things, you're cutting each other out. It's 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 fun. It's I don't know how to explain it. I didn't even think it was gonna be that fun until I downloaded the, the demo. There is a demo to download on the eShop, so I would definitely download that. Take your mom, take your best friend, take whoever's next to you, uh, take a cat, I don't care. Play the demo. If you like it, then go get it. It's only like $19.99. Physical release is uh, $29.99 because they did include some additional content. But I would definitely check out Snipper Clips. And then the last one for multiplayer is Brawl Out. This is basically just a Smash Brothers clone. Um, but hey, we don't have Smash Brothers on the Switch, so it's the next best thing. Uh, just trust me, it's a great time. The best single player games I found were, of course, Zelda and Mario. And then LA Noir uh, by Rox. Rockstar is a phenomenal game. It is so much fun to play, and it's actually really fun to play with uh, other people. I almost put this uh, in the best multiplayer games you need to check out for your Switch because I just had so much fun. Um, if, for those of you who don't know, LA Noir is kind of like a, it's like you're a cop in the 40s and you have to like, um, you gather clues and uh, interrogate people and find out who's lying, who's not lying. And it's so fun to just have your friends and family gather around you and be like, oh, he's lying, oh, he's not lying. Nah, that guy totally got to doubt him. You got evidence against that guy. Um, some of the other games is Doom and Skyrim. Uh, everyone's played those games, but now they're on the Switch and they're better for it because they're they're on the go. You can play it, play it going to the bathroom. You can play it at the airport. You can play it in the line, line at Walgreens. Uh, Mario plus Rabbids, I'm sure you guys have heard. Uh, if you like tactical RPGs at all, any kind of RPG actually, anything turn-based, uh, I would give this game a try. I know um, Rabbids aren't exactly the best guys out there. Like usually when you see Rabbid games, you turn your head and scoff at them. It's uh, but this game, it actually, it was, it's really fun. I would definitely give this game a try. And then there, and then there's a lot of indie games, because I know that a lot of these games are full-blown $60, maybe $40 uh, releases, and you just got a Switch, maybe you got some cash for Christmas, you can't get all of these. You can't spend another $300 on physical release games. That's why I listed some indie games for you guys to try, because indie games, they're a lot cheaper than physical games. You can sometimes get like three to six indie games for the same price as you could go out and get, let's say, Super Mario Odyssey or something. Some of the games I definitely think you should check out is uh, Battle Chef Brigade. This game took me by surprise. It It is, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's half puzzle, half fighter, hack and slash. It's just, it's got a beautiful art style. It's, it's, it's a gorgeous game, it's, it's super fun. Uh, it retails for $19.99. Basically, if you watched Chopped before, it's like chopped challenges um, where you have to make a dish for a chef, uh, but you have to ingredients by cooking monsters. So you go out, 
hack and slash all the monsters, and then you use those ingredients to cook. And the cooking is kind of like a bejeweled kind of mini game, but it's it's really fun. It's really intuitive. I'm kind of short selling it, but honestly, it's one of the best games on the Switch, let alone of this year. Some of the other games are Enter the Gungeon. I'm actually playing a ton of this right now. Retails for uh, $14.99 on the Switch eShop. This is a procedurally generated um, dungeon crawler where everything is gun related. It, it's kind of funny. Everything is like a gun pun. Um, it, it's just another solid game. If it looks interesting to you at all, if you like procedurally generated uh, dungeon crawler games, I would highly recommend that you check this game out. Um, if you can spare an extra five bucks, I would actually get, uh, there's this game called Kamiko on the Switch. It's only $4.99 and it's this fun game. It's actually got some, uh, it's got, it's like a, a top down 8 bit or 16 bit hack and slash kind of game, I guess. I don't know, there's some puzzles in there. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's a really great game. It's got a great soundtrack, um, different characters for you to play the same levels in, so you can really get the most out of that five bucks. Um, and yeah, if it looks interesting, I have it on the screen right now. If it looks interesting to you guys, I would definitely pick that one up too, if you are t tight for cash and you want something else. To the last game I want to talk about is Graceful Explosion Machine. This game retails for uh, $12.99 on the Switch eShop. And if you ever played Geometry Wars, this is like, a newer version of that. This is awesome. This game, it's like a it's like a shooting kind of game where you you just go side to side and you have to shoot all the enemies and avoid stuff. Uh, you can like dodge past them. You have four different weapons. It's a really fun time. I actually 100% completed this game back when the Switch came out. Um, I would definitely pick this one up too. And it's not that much. It's only 13 bucks. So that's another eShop game I would check out. Those are the games and accessories I think you need to uh, get or at least to consider getting for your Switch uh, 2017. Uh, sorry that it was a little longer than it was expected. I was actually planning on this video only being like five minutes long or something, but I've been filming uh, now for apparently about 30 minutes. So hopefully the video isn't that long. Uh, that would suck for you guys. But hey, if you're here at the end, kudos to you. I, I appreciate that, I appreciate it. Anyway guys, hopefully that gave you some insight as to uh, what to do with your new Nintendo Switch. That is all for me for today. Hope you guys all have a very Merry Christmas and thank you for watching.